John, just go over. You've had a few days to, to relive what happened over the weekend um, against what I'm going to say is the best team I've seen this year um, in, in person. I don't know what your thoughts are, but, but just kind of reflect on, on what happened. Well, Oklahoma is a great football team uh, with talent all over the place at every position, uh, NFL guys at a lot of the skill spots that uh, really made Iowa State pay uh, frequently. And uh, they're just a great team. You tip your hat to them. There's just nothing Iowa State could do to stop them. Um, the, the, probably the most frustrating part was that Iowa State struggled so much to move the football. I, I thought they would be able to put some points on the board, and they didn't. Um, and I, I think it's a collection of things that led to that. But uh, uh, it's frustrating because, uh, you know, when your offense isn't getting any first downs, uh, your defense is going right back out on the field. And we saw the tempo that Oklahoma was running their offense with and how easily they were moving the ball. And it just uh, kind of snowballed into a blowout. That tempo was, was pretty fast. So they were running up to the line of scrimmage. and. And the ball is being snapped almost as well. You notice it as a broadcaster. I mean, I certainly yeah. notice it as a reporter. And they've been doing it all season. Yeah. And it's almost like they don't even get set for a second, which I've seen it called. They got a touchdown called back against Texas uh, because they didn't get set for a second. Um, but they're so good at it, you know. And they're they're disciplined. They get in their spots. They know they're ready to go. And um, you know, it, it not only can catch you off guard, but it can also wear you out. And I think it's also a kind of a mental philosophy of just we're on the attack, we're on the attack, which uh, which I think offense is like. I think we've seen Iowa State's offense when it's been at its best. It's been an up-tempo thing, and I don't think you can always do that. Um, but I do think it gives you more of an attack mentality that here we go, we're coming right at you. And uh, maybe that's why some offenses are successful doing it that way. And now you, Iowa State goes right from a team that become BCS number one to G. Let's play at Texas. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and Texas got healthy um, yeah. at, at Nebraska with a great win there, and they're extraordinarily talented football team. They always have been. They, they have All-Americans all over the place, so it's uh, foolish to think that they're not going to get that ship righted. And so um, I wasn't surprised at all that they beat Nebraska. I, I thought they would have a great opportunity to do that. Um, it, it's going to be another major challenge for Iowa State. I mean, this is a, a team with uh, – a lot of weapons again. Um, it, it's a team that uh, has a defensive front that is very, very active and gets after the quarterback and, and uh, contains the running game very well. And so uh, the challenge is going to be for Iowa State to move the football again, and uh, it's not going to be uh, any easier. Iowa State's just going to have to do better in their own areas to be able to move the ball against a great Texas defense. All right. Thanks, John. Thank you.